Hey everyone, it's Cheryl from Teaching Two and Three Year Olds. Our theme for the month of March is rainbows. And for the first two weeks of March, we will also be doing some St. Patrick's Day activities. One of our circle time activities is going to be going on a coin hunt. And I created a very simple printable. Now this is for our two-year-olds. And when they go and find the coins, they find three coins and bring them back. And they're gonna take those three coins and they're gonna put one on top of each number. This is a really simple counting activity and I will put the link to the free printable in the description. And another activity that we have been doing during circle time is sorting objects by the color of the rainbow. What we do is when we return from gym as we're approaching our classroom, we notice a whole bunch of small pieces on the floor in front of our door. The children then gather some of the um, objects in their hands, and then we have these printables actually on the floor in our circle time area. And the children then take the pieces that they have in their hands and they put them on the matching colored pieces of paper. And we change out what objects we use each day. And it's been a really fun, hands-on way of learning color recognition. And the children have loved being able to call out the different colors as they place them on the matching paper. In our block area, we have our Duplos and we put in some gold coins for some St. Patrick's Day fun. They love to fill the little, um, the little Duplo cars with them. And then in our dramatic play area, we have an ice cream shop. Now, ice cream has nothing to do with St. Patrick's Day. Well, unless you have mint ice cream. But the reason why we decided to do an ice cream theme is because our children have really been enjoying it. Um, they've been talking a lot about pretending to make ice cream at the Play-Doh table. So we thought, why not have an ice cream shop in our dramatic play area? And truthfully, children love ice cream year round. They don't necessarily associate it with summer. And so we thought, yeah, let's do it. So we do have our shamrock table runner to kind of tie in that St. Patrick's Day theme. And we have lots of colors going on, tying into the rainbow theme. And we just collected some different ice cream containers. We rinsed them out and they are um, displayed on our shelf. We also have our Melissa and Doug ice cream set, which I love because I love that the scoop the scoop has a magnet on it and the ice cream cones are magnetic. So it, they actually stick to the ice cream cones and then the children can move them and place them on top of the cones and then take them off the cones. It's a great fine motor activity. And then another thing that we did was we took some really big pom-poms, gigantic pom-poms, and we're using those as ice cream scoops as well. Then we have on our writing table, let's come on over here. Can you make a rainbow? And so we have crayons that are the color of the rainbow. And then we have some rainbow shaped paper. So the children can make their rainbows. We also took assorted color bottles that we've made throughout the year. This is next to the writing table. Just because we love this window because it gets really good light. And then we have some prisms that are in the window as well. And we're going to see if we can find some rainbows on the wall coming from these prisms. Our Play-Doh activity for this week is going to be pressing gold coins into Play-Doh. And we also have shamrock cookie cutters and we have rolling pins and then I really really love these new little colorful rods. I had shared with you how we use the colored matchsticks but then I found these and these are actually sturdier and so I thought I'd give them a try and they are loved and I will put a link to these in the description. We use these all the time for Play-Doh but I thought how much fun it would be since they're so colorful with our rainbow theme.
And here is our reading and writing area. I have our Melissa and Doug see and spell on our little coffee table that we have in our reading area. And we have our St. Patrick's Day shamrock and color books. And then coming around the corner here, we have our little display. I love to use the tops of shelves for, for our seasonal displays. And some of the books that we will be reading is Happy St. Patrick's Day, Lucky Tucker, There Was an Old Lady Who Swallowed a Clover, and just because we love Pete the Cat and there is some color going on, we're going to be reading I Love My White Shoes. And then over here on our light table, we have created a fun rainbow sorting activity. We took streamers, different, all the streamers of the colors of the rainbow, cut them the same width and length, and then we laminated them and then we put them on top of the light table and found objects of the same color. And because I love to use books, I love to display them, I like to take a, um, a page holder, an acrylic page holder, and I just slip the book in there so the page is being shown on the light table with the activity. And then next to our light table, we have our easel. And it says at the top, make a rainbow. And so we have a rainbow printable and you can see how the children have loved doing this and they all look different. The ones that are displayed are from our two-year-olds and our young three-year-olds. And then I took this container here and I have the colors of the rainbow in them with the matching brushes. And I think I got this at Michael's in the art section, the section where they have all the fancy art, you know, acrylics and stuff like that for artists. I believe that I got this in there. And then let's come on over here and in our sensory bin, we've got treasure chests and coins and we have coffee beans. Now we use these coffee beans often with different activities. So um, this is something we had. I didn't have to purchase it just for this because that can be very costly. And I'll be honest with you, these were coffee beans. I didn't like the taste of the coffee. So I thought I'm just going to keep it and we will use it in a sensory bin. But the highlight of this act, this sensory bin is scooping everything into these treasure chests. And I've been asked, where did you get them? And they are available. I, I can put a link where I can find some on Amazon. I've also seen them at Michael's, but to be honest, we've just sort of collected them through the years. So they've kind of been purchased in different places. And as you can see, some of them are different. So it's just our little collection that has occurred over the last few years, actually longer than that. And this has been a big, hit and of course there are some little cups in there for scooping as well. Coming on over to our table activities, I have a little chalkboard, it's a Melissa and Doug chalkboard with some colored chalk. Then I also have a couple of printables and these are available in the description. They're free. We have a shamrock shape um, in their little cards that they put together. They match them with the colored one versus the black and white. And then we also have this shamrock um, one to 10 counting activity. And I like to make two copies of each and I do it on cardstock, but you can laminate as well. I did make two copies, one I keep intact and I cut the other one up and then they place, they match the cut up cards to the ones that are on, the numbers that are on the intact pages. So that's uh, a printable that's also available in the description. And then another table activity we have, I found these fun chenille stems. They're fluffy and thick. I think I got them on Amazon. If I did, and I will check after this, I will put a link in the description. But what I did was I took, these are lap um, boards, they're white boards. And I just simply put our colored masking tape on top and then they just match the chenille stems to the same color of the masking tape. Our two-year-olds love this. It's very simple and they also love the texture of the chenille stems. 
For our three-year-olds, we are working on um, learning how to thread smaller beads. So we took chenille stems and I put the same color masking tape on the end so that the bead won't come off. And then they're just simply putting the beads on the matching chenille stems. One more activity that I have, just because it goes with our um, ice cream theme, are these cards. I haven't cut this up yet or done anything with it, but I just wanted to show you the printable and let you know that the link to it is in the description. Then for art, we are going to be doing this fun shamrock activity. It, it kind of goes with mouse paint because it's mixing colors, but it's a shamrock because I'm tying it in with this week's theme. So I took blue and yellow, and the children are going to put um, blue on the two, they look like hearts when you look at it this way, hearts on one side, and then they're gonna put yellow on the two that are on the right. Then I have, we have fold it and we press it together and let's get it going here. So then you're just, you're just gonna press it, smooth it down, and then you can see a third color, which is green. And this is a printable. That is in the description, and I'll also put a link to the blog post because we did this activity last year where I shared more about it. And then if we come over here, we have our little science and exploration center. I put out color paddles and we have our color window blocks. And then I have more on the shelf next to it if they would like to do some building. And I've included a book. As I say, I love to do that. Little Owl's Colors. Now let's go back over here. So that is how our classroom is set up for our St. Patrick's Day and rainbow theme with our two and three-year-olds. Thank you for watching.